I thought we would use our time this morning to um, pray around the Kunara virus again. We did this very early on and uh, we haven't perhaps done it in such a deep way as I want to do it now. Um, and I want to think of um, just God in the midst of all of this, um, not just for us, but um, for the world, uh, for our country, for the world, for our leaders, uh, for all the things that um, this, this is created in our world. Um, I just thought this week that it would be good for us to just pause and to pray for that today. So I invite you to pray with me. Heavenly Father, we praise you as the sovereign Lord of the universe. We praise you that to you the nations of the world are like a drop in a bucket and like dust on the scales. We are so thankful to know that you own the cattle on a thousand hills and that nothing is too hard for you. We thank you that you care for us, that you number even the hairs of our head and that all our days are ordained for us were written in your book before any of them happened. We thank you that you can be trusted and we do trust you, Lord. Help us to trust you more. Thank you that the Kanara virus and all the frightening circumstances popping up around it are not frightening to you. Thank you that you know everything there is to know about this virus. Thank you for this desperately needed reminder that we need you. Lord, we confess that we spend so much time thinking and acting as if we were self-sufficient. Forgive us. Help us to remember that we depend on you for everything we need, whether we feel healthy or sick, and whether the global economy is healthy or sick. Use this time to teach us to trust you more during good times and bad. Father, please pour out your common grace on our world to halt this virus in its tracks. All things are possible for you, Father, and so we ask for healing for a sick world. Please heal those who are already ill. Protect the elderly and others who are especially vulnerable to the virus and intervene to slow the spread of the virus in all countries all over your world. Please give wisdom, insight and knowledge to scientists and researchers as they search for the most effective treatments for a vaccine. Please provide for a vaccine to be quickly discovered, tested, developed and made available. Please give wisdom to all rulers and officials who are making vital decisions and who are under such enormous pressure. Guide their hands so they may make decisions based on both truth and love. And please withhold your power and influence from anyone who would use this time for selfish gain of any kind. Please be with church leaders making big decisions that would affect so many of your people and their fellowship together. Grant us wisdom on how to best listen to governing authorities and to respect the decisions that are made, uh, made and given while still caring for one another and prioritising the need to encourage one another as we see the day of Christ drawing near. Whatever regular gatherings are interrupted, please provide ways for your people to stay connected to one another and please strengthen us to care for one another in creative and genuine ways. Please be especially gracious to those who are already lonely and who may feel particularly isolated during the weeks ahead. Loving Heavenly Father, at a time of great need, please pour out your saving grace on our world and bring people into your kingdom in extraordinary ways. Please use this virus and all the circumstances surrounding it to bring people to their knees. Turn people's hearts and minds back to you in repentance and faith. Enable us to see that for too long we have based our life on shifting sand. Bring people all over the world, whether for the first time or in a fresh way, to turn to the Lord Jesus as their rock and to put their hope and trust in him. Thank you that no matter where we have wandered or how long we have run from you, you are always ready to welcome us back through Jesus and what he's done for us. Help us to be strong and courageous not afraid or discouraged because you are near. Help us not to be anxious, but to be present, but to present all our requests to you in prayer. And as we do that, may your peace guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. And at a time when it feels like the whole world is changing, we praise you, Father, for you never change. We praise you, Lord Jesus Christ, for you are the same yesterday, today and forever. We praise you, Spirit, for the comfort you bring us each day. 
Keep us tender to you, triune God, in our homes, in our work, in our communities. And we pray these things in the name of Jesus. Amen.